This is Victor at RestoreMercedes.com. This is the second part of the V12, Mercedes V12 M120-981, I believe it is, 0.981. Oil leak repair. I basically, uh, I'm at the point where the covers are removed and there is access to seals, those gaskets. One is removed, the other one is in place. Just want to show you where it is and what's going on and what, what involves to get them done. So obviously both valve covers, I removed the extenders because I'm replacing them with aluminum pieces, but um, valve covers are removed and also this is the condition of the engine. So it's pretty much spotless. And those are original green markings on camshafts. Okay, so let's go over to where those seals are and what's going on there. Um, this is one of them which was removed already as you can see it's out this is original factory silicone i believe everything is done with the same silicone and i'm sure that it was never removed because all the bolts are original the markings were original everything is factory so this is the silicone that was there and white silicone as you can see now the leaks are usually from the corners so as you can see this seal is in place you can just remove it just like that and at the end over here as you can see all oil gathered at that very corner and leaking down outside the cover so that's basically where a major leak was on this side on the other side it's also sort of same situation but a little better I would say let's see if you can see that on camera I probably can't pick it up but anyway there's the light there so as you can see there is an oil leak in that corner now the biggest problem at this point is to clean all that stuff out because as you can see on this side put the light back on my on my head so I don't have to hold it on this side the axis is sort of problematic because it's under chain rail okay so I'm not removing the chain I'm leaving it in place I'm gonna hustle but I'll get that cleaned up I don't want to remove the chain on I in the, in the, the, the one of the chain guides um, you know so that's that's not gonna happen also this side is okay to clean it's pretty accessible now you also want to clean under here as you can see there's another area there is another gasket that goes here there's a cover in the gasket that goes over i'll show you in a minute also silicone is in place so silicone is factory and uh, that's obviously not uh, replacement silicone it's white um, same story on this side we got the uh, infamous you know the corner there is leaking and then all this stuff over here is also all wet so that has to be already sealed and obviously on that side um, the whole case is gonna have to be resealed again with uh, new silicone the black one uh, Loctite 5900 I believe it is but the Mercedes has its own part number for that um, do not remove these bolts not necessary I realized that later after all um, because this is where one of the other chain guide is installed this is basically a chain guide bracket in order to remove it and you have to remove the chain guide what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run a bit of silicone on the outside just for a security measure and I'm gonna re silicone these bolts because there was some silicone on them as you can see white residue so I do want to do that just in case for the good measure and tighten it all up and obviously new seals and new silicone and corners will be used that's the way to do this um, power steering remains no need to remove that uh, that stays in place just uh, one of the hoses there's a there's a supply which is this piece here that has to come off because you can't get the bolt out which holds the cover so that has to come out remove that um, the idler has to be removed so 
let's go to covers now show you the covers need to replace these rings the o-rings expensive bastards for some reason they're very expensive at the dealer for the o-ring they should be a couple of dollars but it's like seventeen dollars a piece or something ridiculous price but it is what it is and obviously i'm replacing the camshaft seals they're actually very soft and pliable but i don't want to do this twice and they're 25 years old and might as well replace them um so to seal all the valve covers these have all have to be cleaned off and new silicone which is the black silicone is put on um, there is resemblance of some sort of a glue as you can see this doesn't seem to be a silicone it's some sort of like a lacquer or whatever i'm not reusing that that obviously will be just cleaned off and i'm gonna maybe put a couple of drops of silicone on bolts that hold these two things so basically look on the other side these bolts that go through these are the ones that hold that assembly so i'll just put a drop of silicone just let it seal around a little bit so everything's in place nice and tight also the magnet one of them was showing some signs of leaks so i'm going to remove it and reseal it and this is the immediate cover in, in like in cover in between this is a small little cover that i purchased new with new seal that also will have to be replaced so right so yeah that's basically where we are at this point there's a insane amount of bolts like you got this big right here you got bolts in there and you got bolts here as you can see these bolts and these bolts so there's quite a lot actually just so you know this is not like sort of 15 minute job this is involved so when you start something like that just be ready and obviously you need to know where they all will go back because if you don't then you're gonna struggle finding each bolt where it goes also these pipes are critical because you can break them off as you can see it moves over there okay so be very easy and gentle on these pipes they're in the way and this pipe right here is also in the way a valve cover on the other side is a little more simpler because that pipe twists and that's okay so this is the second part basically what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna start cleaning everything off silicone that was installed by factory many many years ago you can see I'm removing the gasket right now there's a bunch of silicone that's not gonna be fun but you have to do what you have to do now this gasket seems like kind of wavy so that might be why it started to leak but they all leak they just it's sort of like a fault um, kind of like a factory defect it's not hard that's the thing it's not super hard it's still kind of like pliable a little bit but that's basically what it is so that's what what needs to be done well this is another view of the engine inside so this way you can see what you know how engine looks that's 26,000 miles original mileage you see very very clean no carbon or anything no build up of carbon on valve stems or anything see those are the valves in there and if you can see them nice and shiny clean it doesn't want to focus right but see the valves in there another shot of this valve there's a little bit of gasoline left on it that's not well anyway I mean they're they're nice you can tell by the condition of the engine very nice and clean valves and uh, overall the engine is just like it came out from factory the oil is very old so it's very black so that has to be replaced once everything is put back together um, so I'm gonna start with these I'm gonna start removing all that silicone first put risers on and block off the pipes uh, this pipe I replaced this is the one that always breaks that's already replaced and I did it a while back so it's brand new as you can see that's an updated version 
with aluminum and rubber versus just plain plastic as they used to be uh, in 93. Um, again, these bolts I'm going to reseal, put a little bit of silicone around, just a little bit and tighten them up because you know I'm not removing that piece. So I just took the bolts out, but I didn't see clearly that the cover will come out. So I figured these are the, the rear of the, the bolts that hold the big cover from the engine side. Apparently it wasn't that. So once I saw that, I stopped. So these are, this bolt is still tight because once you loosen it, it's, the chain is gonna jump. So no, no, no good. Has to remain because it's under tension here. So do not remove these. That's not a good idea. And of course the O-rings, uh, all the O-rings are replaced. Well, they will be replaced. Parts list is like climbing. It's about maybe um, with risers and everything, they actually had to come from Germany. They don't know stock in America. And I believe it's close to like parts along are like uh, close to $700 at this point. Seals, the covers and whatever. I don't know why, but that's the way it is. This is just so expensive. And um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem to be a lot of parts, but that's where it came up to, about $700. So yeah probably maybe a little less but that's around the number I think I have in my head what I just spent on parts alone no labor so it's getting there but I think I have all of the parts I need so all brand new put in there all right so this is basically part two and um, hopefully I'll get these installed I'm waiting for some o-rings those o-rings right there so I'm waiting for these before I can start assembly but it's enough to clean so I'm sure I'll be busy for the rest of the day today cleaning all the surfaces once all cleaned off then tomorrow I'll start assembling everything back this way you don't really forget where all the bolts go so it's like these are on the left these are on the right they're all different bolts like longer shorter um, these are some other bolts that's for the um, uh, for the um, the, the covers this is for the dipstick you know it's a little different so stuff like that you might as well just start and finish in a day or well in two three days and it's basically most ideal situation all right so this is it this is victor at historymercedes.com this is a part two and part three is going to be about when everything is going to be sort of assembled or semi-assembled i don't know yet let's see what happens maybe i'll make one in between all right well thank you for watching historymercedes.com